Hello everybody, this is a quick introduction to the video you're about to see. This is a Delano Studios China plate and the picture on it is the Thomas Viaduct located between Relay and Elkridge, Maryland over the Pasco River. This plate has been passed down through my family and it was passed on to me several years back. Now I've always wanted to see the Thomas Viaduct and I had recently got the chance to see it. So I thought you'd kind of enjoy this collector's plate that I've had. And on the back, it has the Delano Studios mark. And it just simply states that it's the Thomas Viaduct, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. And the bridge was designed by Benjamin Latrobe in 1835. And as you can see in the picture on the plate, it's uh, very early as when it was built. Tiny steam engine with a couple cars behind it. Looks like an old sandstone mill in the second arch there. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Let's check this out. What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Well, today I'm in Elkridge, Maryland. And I just wanted to see the Thomas Viaduct. It goes between Relay and Elkridge. Don't know if I'll catch a train. There's no place to park. They really don't want me sitting there on the side of the road. But I at least wanted to stop and see it. Been actually wanting to see Thomas Viaduct for a long time. So I'll walk around it, take a look, get what I can get. And I'll probably have to get out of here. Don't know if I'll catch a train at all. So let's take a look and see what the Thomas Viaduct looks like. As much as I can get. It's covered by trees, most of it. Nice curve. This is the Thomas Viaduct. It sits over the Pasco River between Relay and Elkridge, Maryland. It's a curved stone arch bridge built by the B&O between 1833 and 1835. I don't know if I'll get a train across it today, but I definitely want to stop and see it. It's actually really big. The trees are covering the curve. You can't really see that far. But since I was in the area, I'd like at least stop and seen it. can see the curve better on this side. I guess you can see the curve real good on this side too. Well, it would be nice to catch a train. Don't really have a place to park. Not allowing uh, parking on the side of the road. So maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't. If not, I'll go take a look at the other side of the viaduct where I can get to over there. Maybe I'll catch one from up top of it. Let's go take a look. So this is the other side of the viaduct. There is some parking over here. I guess I could have parked. So if you do come here, you could park over here. And there's a nice path right over here. 
that leads down to the river so if you want to get your feet wet you can stand down there and maybe wait for a train oh yeah so if you do come to the Thomas Viaduct park on the Elk Ridge side by the arch and walk the path very nice I think I made it just in time. I hear a train. We'll see if it turns this way or goes the other way. Sounds like he's coming this way. Awesome. Well, I can't see much of him. See if I can get a better angle. <laughs> Got it just in time. At least I got something. I'm just going to walk through the creek. Screw it. Or the river, I should say. Ooh, rocks hurt the feet. Sorry for the shaking. There's a picture. Awesome. That was great. It's a pretty country too. People wading and swimming. This is the top of the viaduct, so you can see the drastic curve it takes. That's pretty awesome. Just make out the stone arches right there. So if you had enough time, you could uh, really get some nice trains to some of these spots. Uh, like I said, I'm just passing through. I'll get what I can get. I'm going to walk the other side there and see if I can catch some uh, stone arch on that side. So as you can see, there's an old uh, concrete staircase that goes down to the road. You can see the curve of the road there. Handrail's gone. It's all overgrown. 
but if you're up top of it you can definitely see the curve of the viaduct on this side with the stone arches but I parked right around that curve I'll show you there in a minute this is great train came right now be great whoo I get up close and personal let's look down the viaduct real quick man architecture is awesome let's go see what else we can find Well, now that I'm down below, you can see the staircase. So the railing's still intact there, just not up top. You peek around the corner. Yeah, so you can really see it on this side, but they got a chain link fence. So you couldn't use it anyway, even if it was any good. But seeing the arch from this side is kind of cool too. Oh, sounds like I got another train, but I'm not going to get it. Oh, I got a little bit of it. Awesome. move down here a little bit so yeah this is cool if I'd have just stayed over in the park but I couldn't there was no place to park there. Ranger didn't want me sitting on the side of the road. So this is still good. Would have been good if I was still up top though. Let me walk through the arch and see what it looks like from that side. Oh, just almost missed it on this side. <laughs> well, that was cool. Fantastic. All right, until next time, like, share, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Hit that button. Happy out.